Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna do a flip through for you guys. Like I promised, I did a full entire second grade curriculum review, showed you guys what we'll be using for 2019 and 2020, and a lot of you guys wanted to see the inside of the book. So I am doing this for you. I already did the language arts, so I will link that one down below, and you can look at all of the resources and books that we're using. And I've tried to be somewhat organized and put all of the links below so you can look at those as well. So here are the math choices for my second grade daughter. I have BJU Math 2. This is just the work text. I did not get the teacher edition, so we'll see how that goes. Um, the first grade one, I didn't need the teacher edition, but second grade to third grade, I might, so we'll see, um, like I said, how it goes in the future. I already did a review on these two, and I will link those videos down below, but this is a daily math practice for grade two, where it literally has five questions for each day. And this is Math Fundamentals, where it helps you with math concepts that the kids are not getting, so I think it's really good for a teacher or a parent. It shows math models for every lesson, and it's more visual, so the kids could actually understand the problem. So that is enough for um, this right now. I will, like I said, link the review down below so you could see like a flip through and what exactly it entails. But this one is what I really wanted to look into and share with so you guys. Inside of BJU, they have a spine right here and it's not attached so you can easily rip out the pages and you could put in a three ring binder. That's what I usually do. Um, they will be learning a lot of new concepts, but at the beginning they're going to be reviewing first grade work, which is addition facts, subtraction, then they're going to get into two digit numbers, times and calendar, two digit number addition, and then two digit number subtraction in the chapter six. Chapter seven, they're doing data, customary measurement, three digit numbers, addition, three digit numbers. And then as you can see in the 11th chapter and beyond, they're getting into new things. So they're doing money, introduction to multiplication, three digit number subtraction, multiplication facts, fractions, geometry, four digit numbers with place value, the metric system, and then an introduction to division and division facts. So that is a lot of new concepts that my second grader is gonna be learning this year. I'm really excited. So let me know if you do have BJU math for second grade. Do you guys use the teacher guide? I'm not sure if I'm gonna get one. I might have to get one to see um, how, that, how it works out, but let me know if you guys get it. The first chapter they're really doing basic addition, subtracting back to 10. So they're going over stuff that they've already gone over for first grade. Now the third chapter, they're looking at sets of 10 and then counting the number and they're going over even and odds, count by twos, fives and tens on the line number and then comparing numbers. And then the fourth chapter, they're gonna be going over time, which I think is really good to go over because it's been a while since my daughter's gone over chapter five they're going over the two digit addition and i like how they separate the tens and the ones and then they put the line through it so they can visually see that those are tens and those are ones and then i like how the chapters work out because every chapter they review what they've learned from the previous chapters so it's a spiral way of learning and i really like it so this is not a mastery book bju is considered a spiral way of learning math this is chapter six where they're gonna learn subtract two digit numbers. So they were learning how to add two digit numbers and then chapter six, they're learning how to subtract it. And in chapter seven, they're doing tallies, charts, and picture graphs, bar graphs. These are so fun. My daughter loves doing these. And data. Chapter eight, they're gonna be doing measuring length and the measuring capacity. They're gonna go over cups and pints and quarts and gallons. Chapter nine, they're gonna be doing three digit numbers and they show representations of the unifix cubes, which are in tens, and then they have ones, and then they have hundreds like that, so I really, really like it. Identifying hundreds, tens, and ones, and I like how they keep it very childlike and colorful. I really and enjoy the little pictures that they do. Um, they have little activities and games and things that look more fun for a kid to do, in my opinion. So this is round to the nearest hundred. And I like how they show the line graph to visualize um, how to do it. Compare three digit numbers, order three digit numbers, and then they do a review again. So going into chapter 10, they're gonna count on by 100s, add three digit numbers, rename tens and ones. In chapter 11, they're gonna be going over pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters, and dollars. And they're going to be subtracting and doing some 
problem solving questions, and then there's a little review. So the chapters are fairly um, short. And like I said, it's spiral, so they don't have them master anything, but since they do reviews at the end of the chapter, it helps out. So chapter 12, they're learning about multiplication, and I like how they have it basically visually pleasing to the eye where they have balloons and sets of four and sets of threes and sets of twos, and then they could understand multiplication in an easier way. So multiplication in vertical form, problem solving, and then they have the review. And then in chapter 13, they're doing three-digit subtraction, round to estimate, and they have a column for hundreds, tens, and ones. And then they have a number marked on the number line and round to the nearest hundred to estimate the difference. Chapter 14, they're doing equal sets, multiplying by two, multiplying by five, ten, and one and zero. In chapter 15, they're talking about fractions, equal parts, they're writing down fractions, Partition shapes, compare fractions, compare more fractions, part of a set, and they're reviewing at the end of the chapter. Chapter 16, they're doing plane shapes, composed shapes, decomposed shapes, solid figures, prisms, attributes of solid figures, perimeters, and then they're doing a review. And chapter 17, they are working on thousands in place values, round to the nearest thousand, compare and order four digit numbers, add and subtract four digit numbers, rename to subtract four digit numbers, and so on. And chapter 18, they are doing measuring, so centimeters and meters, estimate length and height, Celsius temperature, figuring out the perimeter, the distance around a shape or an object, comparing measure using a line plot. Chapter 19, they are talking about equal sets. Picture division, write a division equation, problem solving. Chapter 20, they're dividing by two and three and four and five. And chapter 21, I think they're going over all of the things that they learned in the whole book and doing a review. So this would be a good way to see if they grasped all the concepts. And in the teacher guide, they do have lots of great ideas and additional work pages for the kids, I've heard. So if your kids are struggling with division or multiplication, you can stop in the chapter at any time and work on it a little bit more. So that's the flip through for BJU Math 2. I hope you enjoyed the flip through and you got to see all the pages. I know when I look at these reviews on YouTube, I really enjoy watching and seeing all the pages because I want to see what my kid has to do and how I should be prepared. So these are the books that we'll be using for second grade. And if there's any changes, I will let you guys know in a homeschool update if we decide to change this math. I'm hoping that it works out really well for her. Kindergarten and first grade BJU Math were out really well so I'm hoping the same with grade two but you never know kids change all the time and I will have the k5 kindergarten math review for you guys in another video coming up soon along with science and history I have already done a language arts review with all of the language arts that we're gonna use so if you guys are interested in checking out any of those flip throughs I will link them down below along with our second grade and kindergarten curriculum choices for 2019 and 2020. If you are new to my channel and you like these type of videos, I would love to have you guys join my channel and subscribe. I will see you guys soon.